Praise God, everybody. Blessings to you. This is your pastor, your man of God, your favorite preacher, I hope. Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, I'm so blessed to have you today. Listen, there's been a lot of anticipation for this, for this broadcast. This is the prophetic word of the month. And of course, every single month, uh, I, the Lord gives me a prophetic word to release over each month, because each month, in a sense, is a realm. And uh, each realm or each month uh, has a specific word uh, of life, encouragement, prophecy that God has. And I remember if God uh, ordained Adam, Adam, to name the animals, then how much more are you as we are in the second and the new Adam? Amen. We are meant to name things. And uh, we're meant to declare it, birth by the Spirit of God. So I'm really excited to share this prophetic word of the month for you. I want you to begin to give us some hearts, likes, and do share. And I do believe in the last few weeks, uh, I've been possibly suppressed or, uh, you know, shadow banned, in a sense, uh, by these big take uh, media devils. So I want you to share. And once again, I want you to uh, give us a like. Amen. And uh, praise God. I have a word for you today for the prophetic word of the month of February. Not only is it an incredible month that I'm going to go into, but it's my birthday month. It's my birthday month. And uh, praise God, I'm excited for that. But also, why February is such a, a beautiful, important month, I believe for the Lord, is because this is also going to be the month of love. Of course, Valentine's Day is in February. But in this month, many great men and women of God have gone home to be with the Lord in this month of February. Bob Jones. Paul Kane, Evangelist Billy Graham, Miss Catherine Coleman. Uh, so number of uh, John Paul Jackson, thank you very much. So a number of great men and women of God have gone home to be with the Lord in this month of February, which is the month of love. But I have a word to share with you uh, today about the prophetic word of the month for February. So I'm so excited. So if you're with me today, say amen. If you're happy to be here, say hallelujah. And let's go into this word, amen. Listen, this month of february in the hebrew is adar someone say adar a d a r it is a month of adar and this word adar comes from the root word adir someone say adir a d i r a d i r <clears throat> and this word adir it means strength and power someone say strength and power so this hebrew month adar adir is a month of power so let me declare unto you, this month is a month of power. It is a month of promotion. It is a month of strength where the Holy Spirit is about to embolden and embody you and anoint you to be strengthened and empowered to do things that you've never done, seen, nor experienced before in Jesus' name. So, of course, in this month of Adar or Adir, this is the month of the first Hebrew or biblical feast uh, in the Gregorian calendar. Of course, in the Hebrew calendar, we're in 5782. And in the Greek calendar, uh, which America and most of the world goes by, is uh, known as 2022. And of course, I already declared unto you, 2022, it is the year of open doors. Some say open doors. Some say Jesus is opening up doors for my life. Can I get an amen? Uh, so, this is a Hebrew year of 5782. And in this Hebrew uh, year uh, right now, this is actually a leap year. So it's a leap year. My goodness, I'm about to preach. This is a leap year, which happens seven times in every 19 year cycle. Okay. Now, I want you to hear this because this is so important. All right. The Hebrews say when there is a leap year, literally this month, February or Adar, this is the month where you have double. It's not just about leaping forward or leaping upward, but the leap year in the Hebrew sense is about being pregnant. So this month, you're about to be pregnant or impregnated with the blessings of God. 
this month of February of Adar, you're about to be impregnated with the double blessings of God. So literally this year, 5782, 2022, this is the year of the double. Some say double. This is the year, literal year of the double impregnation, double joy, double blessings, double rewards this month. If you're with me, say amen. So it's incredible because this month of Adar, of course, it is the month of Purim. Some say Purim. And I don't know about you, but I'm ready for Purim power. I'm ready for Purim justice. I'm ready for Purim blessings. This month of Adar, February, is the month of Purim. And we already know the story of Esther and Mordecai, where Haman, the accuser, the antagonizer, was hung on his own gallows. The thing that he set up to destroy Esther was reversed. The curse was reversed. And Haman ate the words of his own mouth. The Bible says you will reap whatever you sow. And that's what happened to Haman. And that is what is going to happen to every one of your enemies and accusers and obstacles in the name of Jesus. But the key verse for this month, is Esther chapter 9, verse 22. I want you to go to Esther chapter 9, verse 22. And if you're with me today, say amen. And once again, I invite you to give us some hearts, likes, and do share. Share this on your wall. Amen. Esther 9, 22. I'm going to read out of the King James Version today. As the days were in, the Jews rested from their enemies. Are you ready to rest from your enemies? Or in other words, other translation says to have relief. Whenever, if you have pain, you may take medication or put an ointment on your uh, body or that part of the body. That's called relief, muscle relief, tension relief. Are you ready for relief or rest from your enemies? And the month which was turned unto them from sorrow to joy. So this is a month of turnaround. Come on, somebody. If you are watching in your room or if you are in a safe place, I want you to turn things around right now because the Holy Ghost is turning things around in your life. So this month, God gave rest and relief. This month of Adar, of Purim, God gave a turnaround from sorrows and grief to joy and laughter, from mourning into a good day, that they should make them days of feasting and joy and sending portions to one another and gifts to the poor. Are you ready to receive gifts? Are you ready to give gifts? My goodness, this month of Purim, they gained justice and victory over Haman and over all the Jew haters, over all of the anti-Semites, over all of the people who hated God's children, you. And as victory and justice took place, come on, somebody, as victory and justice took place, they celebrated and they gave gifts to one another. So this month of Adar, a deer, which means power and strength. And right now, we are in 5782, which is a leap year. And this is an impregnated month. In this month, you will get rest from your enemies. You will uh, have a divine turnaround. You will have great joy and celebration and feast on the goodness of God. And as well, you will receive and give gifts. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody said, I am ready to receive gifts. Someone said, I am ready to receive from the Lord. That word Purim, which is the first biblical feast festival in the Gregorian calendar, that word Purim stands for the word purr. Someone say purr. Imagine you're like a cat. Purr. That word purr in the original word means lots. L O T. S, lots. Of course, remember the story when Judas hung himself, they casted lots to choose the 12th apostle. And was it going to be, uh, was it going to be justice or was it going to be Matthias? And the lot fell on Matthias. So there are lots, meaning there is the allotment or the appointment of God. And this festival called Purim means the divine appointment of God. It means that God is about to enlarge your territory. God is about to open up your allotment. 
the size of blessings, the slice of pie is about to grow. Come on, somebody. God has given you a bigger piece. God has given you a greater inheritance. God has given you greater blessings. In fact, it's double blessings. It's double portions. The Holy Spirit is about to increase you this month, and he knows what to give to your enemies, to Haman, and he knows what to give to you, Esther and Mordecai. Hallelujah. This is a month of miracles. In fact, whenever February or Adar begins, they say Adar is a month of increased joy. There's so much celebration. In fact, Adar might be the month of the most amount of celebration and festivities because of Pearl. My goodness. And this is the month I was born in. Hallelujah. Adar is a month of increased joy where God is going to increase your joy. Can I get an amen? God is going to grow your joy and celebration and things are going to take off to the next level. So let me give you three prophetic points to this February of power. Someone say February is a month of power. Let me give you three prophetic points for this month. If you're with me, say amen. Number one, promotion. You're going to experience promotion in the spirit and in the natural. Let me tell you, Esther was a nobody. She was a little Jewish orphaned girl. But overnight, she became queen. And not just that, but Mordecai was a nameless and a faceless. But then he gained great honor before all in the month of Purim, in the season of Purim, Adar, February. So this month, God's going to promote you by his mighty, righteous hands. If you're ready for promotion, say, I am ready for the next level of my promotion. Number two, this is a month of power. I've already told you that Adir in the original word means uh, power and strength. This month, God is going to release miraculous exploits of justice, deliverance, and recompense. This month, someone say this month. I'm not saying next month. This month, there is a realm that's opened called testimony. That is called God can and he will do it again. As he did for Esther and Mordecai. Thou, uh, over a thousand plus years, as excuse me, over two thousand plus years, as he did for Esther and Mordecai, in the same month, in the same time frame, God can and He will do it for me in the name of Jesus. If you're with me, say Amen. And the third prophetic point for this month is produce or production. Now let me tell you. Remember, this is a leap year, which means double. It means that literally this year you're impregnated. So this month, Adar, February, God is going to impregnate or produce great things out of you. You see, when a woman is impregnated, everything begins to change. And many of you women, ladies, mamas, grandmas watching now, you understand this better than I do. But when you are impregnated in the spirit or in the natural, Everything about you begins to change and shift where you begin to uh, shift into a peak level of production and performance. Something begins to change. The baby's coming. The baby's coming. The Brits are coming. The Brits are coming. The red coats are coming. Jesus is coming. The glory is coming. The sky is falling. Something's about to be produced and be released like never before. Let me tell you, church. God is going to reverse things, and he's going to set certain things in motion. Can I get an amen? This month of February, Adar Adir, which is a month of power, God is going to release promotion, power, and production out of you and through you. In the name of Jesus, someone would say amen. Listen, this month, February is a happy month. Now, one of the interesting things is, of course, whenever it's a leap year in the Hebrew calendar, the month of Adar is highlighted. Okay, this month, Adar is highlighted. Oof. Sharablaka. This month of Adar is highlighted every leap year. And this is the double Adar. This is the double 
year. However, in this season, God is going to cause you to go from your lowest points to your highest points. Because this stands for accelerated elevation. This stands for increased favor. This stands for great, great joy. My goodness. I know some of you might say, Pastor Ben, this sounds too good to be true. Even today, I'm reading in a news article that uh, at the Gaza Strip, they are preparing missiles to attack Israel. Today, January 28th, 2022, I'm talking to you. You see, whenever it's around a Jewish festival, a biblical feast, you will always see something happening with Israel. And I already said, out of my uh, 22 prophetic points for 2022, I said, we need to pray for Israel, right? We need to pray for Israel and the Middle East. I watched that. You can see it on my YouTube video that I prophesied by the Spirit of the Lord for 22 prophetic points for 2022. It's on YouTube at Bell and Global. But let me tell you, this month, God's going to strengthen you, promote you, anoint you, and lift you up to produce things that you've never produced before. So I want to pray for you right now. In this moment, all of you watching, friends, partners, haters, enemies, I want to prophesy over you that this month, God is going to increase in your joy. He's going to reverse the curse. He's going to begin to release vengeance and recompense and justice. The lot, the per M, is being turned around in your favor. You will be promoted like Esther and Mordecai. The pure in hearts will be promoted. Hallelujah. And God is about to do something supernatural in your midst. It's called double blessings. Double joy. Double favor. Double promotion. Some say God has impregnated me to produce miracles of the supernatural. The Lord's doing it. I want you to lift up your hands wherever you're watching from. Hallelujah, Lord, I thank you for our friends right now. Touch them, anoint them. Shodabla, I thank you for answers, for clarity, for wisdom, and for breakthrough. And I ask you, Father, for every single person who comes into agreement with this prophetic word of the month of February, that this would be a February of power. Conco, poder de Dios. Febrario es un mes de poder de Dios, promoción y producción. Lord, I thank you for the fire, for the power, for the glory of God, and that the lots are turning in your favor. Now, wherever you're watching from right now, I want you to begin to pray in the Holy Ghost because I sense the power increase. So I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Come into agreement with this word. Zubalakatana blokate. Zubalakatana mlakate. This is a leap year. This is an impregnated year. This is a double blessing year. And in this month of Adar Adir, God is not only going to increase your joy and happiness and festivities, but get ready to receive gifts. Get ready to feast. Get ready to celebrate. Get ready because God is giving you relief and rest from your enemies, from opposing spirits and mountains of debt and financial crises. Oh God, I thank you for relief and rest from my enemies on all sides. Come on, give the Lord a mighty shout. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I rebuke you Every demon and devil that is trying to censor and ban me, I rebuke you. This is the year of the double. This is the year of the leaping. This is the year where things will be birthed. Things will take a shift and move into place. God is moving and maneuvering things into the right place. I hear God saying in the spirit, I am positioning you for breakthrough. I am positioning you to do mighty exploits. I am positioning you 
into places of favor and promotion. So I'm going to say hallelujah. I want you to lift up your hands one more time, church, in this place. Lord, I thank you for every hungry heart, every hungry soul. Right now, I ask you, Jesus, touch your people. Jesus, touch your people right now, God. This month of February, let the Esthers arise and let the Mordecais be honored. Let the Esthers arise and let the Mordecais be honored. Watch what God's going to do. Double, more, 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 more in the name of Jesus. Somebody give the Lord a mighty shout. Come on, give the Lord a mighty clap. Hallelujah. This month of February, it's going to be a month of miracles, church. A month of miracles. As it was in the days of Esther, so it will be with you. As it was in the days of Mordecai, so it will be with you. My goodness. My goodness. The Bible says Esther 9.22. That month was reversed for them from grief to joy. It was reversed. It was reversed. This month, God is reversing and turning things around for your life. Someone say hallelujah. Well, people of God. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this word. I hope you come into agreement with this word. And listen, listen, all of you watching right now, I mean, as I was praying and studying and preparing for this, I was shocked, June, I was shocked to know that this year, 5782, it's the month of the leap year. And it's the month of the double year, double twins impregnation. And in this month of Adar, this is the month of the double. I was shocked. And I said, my goodness. So listen, I want you to agree with this word and to respond to the Lord. Hallelujah. And I want you to sow a seed right now. I usually don't take up offerings or open up a time to sow. But because Adar is the month of increased joy, increased favor, it is the month of the double in this leap year. I felt in my spirit, I need to allow you to respond to the Lord and respond to this prophetic word. Hallelujah. So listen, this is what I want you to do. We're going to put up the ways to give in the chat group. And we're going to put up the ways to give, I believe, on the screen here. And I want you to sow. And I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you about 30, 40 seconds to sow. All right, whether you make a pledge or you do so right now, praise God. And let me tell you, church, every single cent dollar will not only go to the work of God's ministry, but it will go back into your lap and into your bosom. And for every single person who makes a pledge or a commitment to sow, or you do so right now in this holy moment, I want you to comment double on the Facebook. I want you to comment double on the Facebook so that I can speak your name out in agreement. Good seeing you, Miss Mariko. God bless you. Thank you so much for all that you do for Dr. Michelle Corral. Good seeing you the other day. And if this word comes into agreement with your spirit, I want you to comment double if you sow, if you make a pledge to sow according to this word. Amen. My goodness. I'm so excited for what God's going to do this month. I know, I know, I know. So I want you to comment double if you so. God bless you, Patrice, Rachel Lyons, Marie Barwick. God bless you. Chaz Armand, good seeing you, Chaz. Natasha, shalom to you for double. Child of Most High, God bless you. Sherry, God bless you. Alex Ray Rivera, I miss you, my friend. God bless you. Marjorie, God bless you. D. Cayetaneto, God bless you. Pastor Sharon Smith, God bless you. Mariko, God bless you. I hope to see you when Dr. Cindy trims around again or when Pastor Benny returns. 
Juno, God bless you. Teresa Levesque, God bless you. Zora Black of Maryland, God bless you. Come on, somebody. There is a double grace, a double anointing right now. Allison Lynn Weaver Bell, God bless you. So Tina Parker, God bless you. Zera Black, Katara Broska, Tarablata, Tarablanda. Lord, I thank you for double, double blessings and double trouble on my enemies. <laughs> Virginia Cariaga, double, double. I like that. Double, double animal style. Amen. In and out. But usually I'll get the triple, triple. Don't judge me. Son of a, all right, I'm going to give another few seconds right now in this moment. All right, if you sow or you make a pledge to sow in this moment, for this leap year, double Adar, a dear power, Purim blessing. I want you to sow and come into agreement right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Sherry, that is correct. Zika Rabaraka Tara Susie, God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Zarablaka Tarablata Ta. Shera Braka Tarabroska Tanamlanda Kerabla Katarablaska Tanabla. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Shara Braka Tarabroka Tarabla Kata. Becky Mikhail Fresh. I like your last name. God bless you. Shara Braka Tanamlanda Teres Karabroka Tarablanda Te. Lord, I come into agreement with all these wonderful people. And I thank you, Father, for what you're about to do this month. Charmaine Long, God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, 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 Jesus. If this word blessed you today, if it resonated with you today, I want you to say amen. Hallelujah. Give me some hearts and likes. Listen, people of God. Praise God. Praise God. Listen, people of God. I want to make two announcements before we close today. Of course, upcoming. Uh, we have my next Zoom webinar, and I invite you to be a part of the Zoom webinar. Okay? It's going to be... On February 7th, Monday, 7 p.m. PST, is called The Prophet's Mantle. I'm going to talk about what are the requirements, qualifications of being in the office of a prophet. And what does it mean to be a prophet? If you believe you're called to be a prophet or you have a prophetic gift and you want to walk more in the prophetic anointing, this is for you. So I want you to register right now. Amen. If we could just have that. On the screen a little bit longer, Mr. Dolores. So I want you to register and uh, <clears throat> be a part of our next Zoom webinar. Amen. And uh, my second uh, announcement is for, of course, our upcoming conference called Open Heavens Prophetic Voices. And that's the same week as the Prophet's Mantle, but it's going to be from February 9th to the 13th. And uh, we have Prophet Jesse and Amy Shamp, Dr. Hakeem Naeem Collins, Dr. Robert Liardin, Natasha Hen, who's Pastor Benny Hen's daughter, is leading worship. And you have myself. It's going to be five power packed days of the glory. Oh my goodness. Y'all need to come. And if you're not able to come in person, which I really encourage you because many are driving and coming in from everywhere then be a part of our online group, okay? We are not airing, broadcasting this for free, all right? So I want you to be a part of our online group. Join, join, join. It's going to bless you. Let me tell you, we need to know and hear what is the Spirit of the Lord saying, speaking now today for the church and on earth, 
Where are the true prophetic voices that God is raising up? So I want you to join and be a part, either in person or part of the virtual community, and you will be blessed. Amen. This is your man of God, your pastor, Dr. Pastor Benlam. I love you. February is going to be a great month. I celebrate what God's doing in your life. Thanks for watching today. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, Benlam Global, or, and, actually, excuse me, uh, follow our Facebook page, Benlam Global, or Benlam, and uh, click the bell button to be notified whenever I come up live on Facebook. I love you. God bless you. Happy February of power, February of Purim, power Adar, and may the Lord cause you to produce and may you be promoted like Esther and Mordecai. God bless you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.